In this video, we're going to talk about external references and specifically about how external references could influence your model when you take your model outside of drafting software that a drafter might be using in AutoCAD or Revit, what have you, and you take it into a tablet that's more of a CAD viewer. So if you're using the model on a total station or some other device, how external references could affect how the model is looked on another software. I'm going to share a series of examples regarding the external references in this video. The first one being an example that just simply explains what external references are. Here on the screen, you see a model of a building design. At first glance, it looks like I have everything I need on the model to begin laying it out and measuring dimensions. However, if I go to the external references pane, you'll notice that the drawing, the model, is actually lacking certain elements that are located in other files on my computer. Let me show you what I mean. In my command line, I'm gonna type in external references. And it's gonna open up this external reference pane. Now looking at my external references, you see the main drawing up here at the top. This is what you're looking at right now, the main drawing. What you don't see, however, are all of these different drawings that are linked into this file. You can see these yellow triangles are here indicating that the modeler, the designer, whoever gave you the file had all of those drawings linked to the file. And whenever you open the file on your new device, the file is still looking for those files. But if your computer or your device does not have these files, the only thing you're going to see is the main drawing or whatever the title of the drawing is called without the references. So to explain this further, let me show you my file explorer. Here in my file explorer, you can see that this is the drawing that I have open. However, what it's looking for are all of these files that are within the folder for the drawing, associated with the drawing that it's trying to find. So for example, the model is looking for this file right here. Let me see what that file looks like on my computer. 1437, let me look for that right here. Let me open up this drawing. As you can see, this drawing was designed in its own model space, all on its own. This is the only file in this file. And what they did, what the drafter ended up doing is taking this model and linking it to this model. So all I need to do to bring this model into this model is right click it, find the file path that it's located on, and simply click on the file. And I'll say open. And now you can see these elements of that drawing are now included on this file. Same thing with all the rest of them. All the rest of them are something like this, where there's an element on the drawing that is meant to be linked to the main drawing. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and find all of these files on my computer and link them back into the drawing. Okay, I've just finished linking all of these files that I had on my computer back into this drawing. And as I click on them, you'll see what they refer to. So I'll click on this, this one. It's referring to those highlighted items. How about this one that's referring to those items, etc. So all of these items have its own individual drawing associated with it. So if I'm modeling, for instance, and I have all these linked in here, all I have to do is open up the specific reference that I want to edit. So I'll open this random reference I have here. And what I can do is I can take this reference file, edit this all on its own, save it, and automatically that will be updated in this drawing. So in modeling practice, external references are extremely friendly and helpful to use. Now, how do these affect a total station or a, a tablet that you're using this drawing on that it isn't designed for modeling software? It's more designed as an AutoCAD viewer and to do very light point creation or line work on. Well, let me show you what will happen. If I save this drawing, I'm going to go ahead and save this drawing as is with all these external references attached to this drawing. I'm going to go ahead and save it on my downloads folder as tablet import. I'm going to show you what this looks like when I import it into a software that would be designed for a total station. Okay, here I have open Hilti total station software that I have used in the past. And let me just show you what happens when I bring a drawing into here that has external references linked to it. Let's just observe what happens. I'm going to add a drawing and I'm going to add this tablet import drawing that I just saved. What I hope you're noticing is that the drawing looks a lot like what it looked like before I linked all those external references in there. I'm missing quite a bit of what we saw in the drawing after I linked all those files into the original file. Just to observe, you can see these columns, these room callouts, these door information callouts, all that's in the AutoCAD drawing, but on the tablet, we're not seeing any of that information. 
That's because in AutoCAD, all of these drawings are able to be linked into the drawing and are able to be seen in the modeling software. But because your tablet software most likely isn't the exact same software as AutoCAD, that's why it's having trouble to see all of those references. So what's one simple solution for external references? Well, if you can simply ask your drafter to take your external references and bind them to the drawing, this issue would be resolved. All the drawing information from all the other files that are referenced in will now become one with this drawing. Once you save this drawing, no matter where you import it, all the information bound to it will stay with it. So let me show you that example. For all the files that I have in here that are also on my computer, I'm gonna highlight them, bind them, and now you can see that I have only the main drawing remaining, but all the information from the external references are now part of this drawing. So now back on my tablet, if I import that drawing, you can see all of the external reference information is now within this drawing on my tablet. So I hope that helps you understand the basics of what external references are. They're designed to be an effective way to model your drawing in AutoCAD, but if you intend to use an externally referenced drawing in any other type of software, it makes a lot of sense to simply bind those files all together into one drawing and save it as a different file name before you send it off so that you can see all of your information as one. Let me show another example just to make sure you understand. In this example, I have a series of drawings listed right here that I need to align to each other. There are four drawings that work together. Now looking at each drawing individually, it's almost the obvious that they belong with another set of drawings. So here's this version and then this version. All of them look very, very similar. What I can tell just from first glance is that these should be aligning with each other and most likely they were XREFs in some sort of model space before and I bet if I make a new drawing and simply bring all these in together as external references they should align perfectly. Let's see what happens if I do that. I'll make a new drawing, I'll open my external references and I'll attach all these DWGs into the same file. Here all the files are, I'll highlight all of them, I'll say open. On this screen I'll simply press OK because I don't have any specific spot I want it to fall, I just want it to go in its original position. After I press OK, you'll see that all the drawings line up really well to create the building. And in my external reference pane, yes, there's a lot of more information over here. And what you'll notice is that you see these drawings that look like the DWG file type listed throughout this entire XREF pane. What you see with yellow triangles are actually image files. I can extend this out and you can see there's a lot of different files you can external reference into here. You see I have a lot of JPEG files, but of course the DWG files are what I care about most. DWG files are what are going to be read by my tablet when I lay out. These JPEGs might be simple company logos, but the most important thing over here is that my DWGs are in here. Now all I have to do to make this ready for my tablet is simply bind each one of these DWGs to the drawing, save it, and now they're all together into one and can be imported into my tablet. Now the only thing remaining is my drawing file and I can save, and this file will be put onto my tablet and onto my external software with everything combined into one. Without binding your drawings, each drawing you import onto an external tablet will look like these little snippets that you were sent originally. So simply asking a drafter to bind them, such as this, you'll be able to see your entire model ready to go without having to worry about missing any files. Now let me show you a little bit more of an extreme example. Let's say you're using a total station or you need to get a drawing, a digital file from a general contractor or from a designer, and they send you a bunch of folders that look something like this. And it's confusing and you don't know what to do about it, but you go ahead and you see drawings, so you're gonna assume that that's where you need to go, and you find that there is a drawing in here at about four megabytes. Let's see what this drawing looks like if you simply take it as is and bring it into the tablet. What you'll see, it's actually a string of files that looks like a bunch of different floor plans put together each of the floor plans looks like they're missing objects. So this is a complicated example because for the modeler, when they were designing it, they designed it in a way that was convenient to them. They had all the modeling done in the model space, and then afterwards they printed it out maybe floor by floor. But for what you're working with, especially on a tablet, you can see that it's bringing in the full drawing with all the floors on here. But the frustrating part is that it's clearly missing layout items, which are probably reserved in some sort of external reference somewhere that you need to investigate. So in this case, what needs to be done? Here I have the drawing open within AutoCAD, and you can see that it's a lot different. I actually have the material 
of all these layout designs in each of the drawing. What can be done to make sure that this is actually workable on a tablet or something that's not designed for modeling work? Well, the first thing is to do exactly what we've been talking about. Go to your external references and bind all of the external references that are part of the drawing that need to be seen on the tablet. So I'll go ahead and bind those now. Now you can see everything's bound except for the files that I literally don't have on my computer. Now let me be clear, this is not something that you would have to worry about if you're not a drafter, if you don't have AutoCAD. This is just something that you need to understand what needs to be done on the drafting end in order for a model to be able to work on a secondary software like a Total Station tablet. Because now what you can see is that now that they've been bound, if I save this drawing, all of this information will now be included on the tablet when I draw it, because now it's all part of the same drawing, rather than one drawing with a bunch of links to a bunch of different files that the tablet would not be able to pull from. Now the second thing that the drafter would have to do to make this conducive to a layout design on a tablet is to simply export each individual design one by one. Now we have a separate video on how to do general file cleaning and how to optimize files for tablets, but just to be very brief here, what they would have to do is simply do some file cleanup, or maybe remove some layers that you don't need for layout. But the next big thing is that for each file, highlight over the file you need exported, and then run the W block command to export just that material that you need as its own drawing. That's one of the most convenient ways to take out pieces of drawings where you don't need everything included. So if I just went W block, exported this one drawing, it would only save that one part that I highlighted. So I won't go more into that now because it's not super important for this video, but I wanted to show you how critical it is to understand how X references work with other software. They need to be bound. The most convenient op option is to bind them into one drawing, save it, and then take it into whatever other software you need to take it into. I hope this video helps, and please leave any questions you have in the comments.